Hello everyone, this is Butterjar Cool, and you're currently watching my tutorial video on how to draw using Microsoft Paint and a mouse. So uh, this is just a tutorial that I think would be good for people who don't have any special equipment or programs, unlike my usual Paint Tool Sci and Wacom tablet ones. So hopefully this will be nice and accessible and easy to understand. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so first of all. Um, yeah, right when you open Microsoft Paint, you'll just have your canvas. I think this is the default size. You can change the size of the canvas by pressing Control and E. And I would make this bigger for you guys, but <laughs> for some reason my computer just hates it. And it just makes crazy horrible, like... Blah. Except that was actually pretty good, but it usually makes like really, really cornery things. Jaggedy. Jaggedy. No one likes jaggedy circles. Okay, so... Yeah, so we got the we got the canvas. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit with the magnifier. Oh man, this is great. And then I'll actually use the oval tool at a the second second size and I'm going to pick blue as the color because this will be our sketch. Um so make a nice circle then we can actually move it after we make it. And this is way too big. Ha ha ha. Just kidding, I'm gonna use this <laughs> smaller size. <laughs> okay, so that's the one awesome thing about paint is you don't need to be able to freehand circles because you know this is the hardest thing in the world. And also my computer's just dying. So after you make a circle, you can Wait, no, this is, this is a tutorial on how to use paint, not to draw faces. So yeah, just uh, as you sketch, I think the main thing is to be okay with it looking horrible right off the bat. <laughs> this, all the sketching stuff will go away pretty soon, but not soon enough. Oh gosh, this is horrible. Okay. So, I already messed up over there, so I'm going to put in the jaw a little bit more. You can be as horrid as you need to be. See? Look how beautiful she is. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a little bit of the eraser. Okay. So, I think my only... Uh, input for sketching with the mouse is to just be patient and uh, okay with your drawing looking like, you know, a two-year-old who got a hold of crayons. What? What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's about it. I have nieces. Ooh, so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll fast forward through the rest of the sketchy sketch process and see you on the outline. And hello again. Now if everything has gone well, you should have a slightly grody looking sketch and Yes, that, that's what we have here. Good So now, now that we have all of this in our blue color, let's go to the curve tool. This is where things are gonna start looking pretty. And yeah, that's, that's the whole purpose of this tutorial, how to make something kinda pretty, kinda, kinda pretty. Now it could be pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that talking thing. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna use the second, second size and pick the different color. So I'm picking black here. So the main thing about the curve tool is it's kind of like a vectory thing that I use in my other other tutorials. But um, so you click where you want it to start. You drag it over to the end point and then you can drag the back half wherever you want it to go. 
and then you drag the front half to influence that. Now the main thing about this is just remembering which point you laid down first. So it's always from back to front. So just kind of keep that in mind and as we go we'll see uh, how things go <laughs> oh man words always so hard so here I'm gonna do this curve of it I've laid it down I'll overshoot it a teeny bit because I know it'll be flattened out as I try to pull this part up and we have this part yay actually no that was horrible let's try it again control Z is always pretty much always the best friend in these tutorials and any drawing actually for me all right one of the big things in this is also to not bite off more than you can chew for any single line so I like to have maybe just one curve per curve tool like this one curves up and then down so I guess two curves is good I'll keep this down here a little bit and then I'll bring it up kind of put it that way <laughs> and uh, you might not get it immediately it takes a bit of practice and trial and error a lot of error <laughs> a lot of control Z to get comfortable with this tool so there it is also, yeah, this is this is a budgie girl. These budgies are cool. So, I made I made a budgie girl. Because what else would I make, right? Budgies are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, also, if you are using a larger canvas size, because mine is 819 by 640, no 460, dyslexic, um, and you want something bigger than one of these presets, you can press Control and Plus bunch of times and then you'll get something that's way bigger than any of these preset ones so I'm gonna change it back to that and okay we're good now the main thing here is that we're making all these pretty lines right now but they're not quite natural looking yet because they are rounded everything is all roundy but we'll get We'll finish that point after I do the rest of the sketch. So, or sketch, outline, outline, words. So, yeah, <laughs> um, just be a little bit patient right now. I will finish up all of this curve tool business. And, well, then we're going to do a lot more curve tool business. Happy, happy fun times. Okay, just a second. Okay, okay. Um, Yep, we're gonna speed things up. Alrighty, we have our basic outline now. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, oh, what is the uh, outline? Yeah, it's there, but it's all the, the sketch. The sketch is still there. There's a lot of sketch still there. So the reason that we did this the way that we did, as in uh, we did the outline in one color and the sketch in another, is so that we can go to our bucket tool or fill, fill with color. Ah, it's a bucket. Yeah. And then select color two, select the color that we initially used, go back to color one, and then, just kidding, make color one white, or just uh, as long as you have your sketch color and white, aka your background color, as your other color, then you can just go in here and be like, okay, get out of here. Just go back and forth between your left and right clicks. And that should make everything 
Go away. Yay. This next step will be the one that'll make everything pretty. Now, let us well, stay with our black and white colors. Go back to your curve tool. Um, we can actually make the size about the same. And we will zoom in on the pieces that we want to make nice. So, your character might not have feathers, so I'll demonstrate on the hair. Let's go to the curve tool. And now instead of using the left click to make our black line, we'll use the right click to make a white line. Now, what you want to do is you start it up here, a little bit away from the point that you want to make nice, end it a little after, and then just ease the line on to the part that you want to make pointy. Oops. And <laughs> you guessed it, do it for the rest of the entire drawing. <laughs> it's a labor of love, people. You gotta <laughs> patience. Patience is a wonderful thing if you wanna use a mouse and Microsoft Paint. Or actually I guess any drawings requires a lot of patience because the outlining process is usually fairly long for any given drawing or program. So yeah, I think I'll just do this for the rest of this drawing. And then I'll come back with coloring. Yep. Okay. See you soon. Okay, now we have a pretty outline, but as you can see, certain certain bits of it have little bits of blue in there, and we don't want that because that's that's not supposed to be there. This is part of our previous sketch. Now what we'll do is go to select, make sure that transparent selection is checked, and then Control A to select everything, Control X to cut it. Go to your bucket tool, then fill in everything with gray, and then Control V to paste. All right, now that we have this, we can do our fancy back and forth coloring routine that we did to get rid of the other sketch parts. So let's go here, color everything blue with right click, and then black, and then blue and then black. And now, all those unsightly blue pixels are gone. Yay! And also do that to any disconnected outline parts if they happen to have that same issue with the pixels. Alright, now we just need to get this thing back to where we want it. So, we will go to Control A. Control X. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Let's keep that as our. Let's keep gray as our background. Control A and then X. Then make our background white again. And then Control V to paste it. Oh, no, wait. Make our color two. <laughs> keep it gray. And then Control V to paste it. Oh! That's complicated. Okay, now it is time to color. Yay, coloring, that's the fun part. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fun. Okay, now this should be pretty easy since we have, uh, since we filled in all those little pixels that are usually an issue in these cases. So let's go to, mm, let's do this and just, oopsies. Make sure you have your correct color selected. So color one and then just color everything whatever colors you want. Yay! Fancy, fancy, fancy. 
and um, yeah. Oh, go to edit colors if you want a color that doesn't exist in the presets yet. So I probably want to do some skin color, which will be normal orange, but lightened up quite a bit. Uh, let's actually bring it down a teeny bit so it's less saturated. Add custom colors. Okay. And then color in all the skin parts. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, so I'll block in the rest. Of, oh wait, no, that takes like two seconds. Never mind. <laughs> okay, go over here. Make a new one. We're gonna be more yellow. And then drag this guy. Uh, okay, right around there. Add to custom colors. Okay, and we made a beak. And this part is also kind of a beak too. So. We'll make that also yellow. Then we'll use the dropper tool to get that color back. Make these strap feather parts more feathery again. And then I guess I do need a little bit of time to figure out what color I'm gonna make the hair. Ah, I hate making colors. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, we've decided <laughs> it's gonna be uh, a dark gray. So essentially black, but if you make it actually black, then it's gonna combine with the outline. So we'll make it just a touch lighter than black. It's a nice neutral color so that we don't have to have too much classing, clashing colors. Um, let's actually get another white color that's a little off. Ah, no, we just went over one of our previous colors. It's okay. Um, we will use this to color in the eye whites. So what I usually do is I just make a teeny little... Oh, no, where is it? Boom. And boom. Just contain the eye whites within the eye itself. Oh man, so much concentration. Okay, and then we get to fill it in. Yeah, oh no. Okay. And okay, I, oh man, these colors are too close together. I don't know it's what anymore. Okay, zoom in and get all of these little bits. So if you're actually going at a higher resolution than I am, then you probably won't have these, these issues of pixel by pixel coloring. Just remember that uh, I would normally go at a higher resolution, but my computer is of the age of the dinosaurs, so it, it's not capable of Microsoft Paint and all this recording software and this webcam thing all at once, so <laughs> ooh, yeah, fun, fun, fun. Okay, let's see, what color should we make the eyes? Let's do this color, same as the, the sear crest bit. Add custom colors, okie dokes. And then we'll do the same thing over here. This gap is a little smaller than the eye gap. So I'm just gonna pencil it in and then fill it up. Okie dokie. I think that is just about uh, just about it for all of these. Oh, wait, what? Okay, wait, that's there. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take that into there with the right click. And then, and then we'll take it. Okay. I just wanna kinda even this eye thing out a bit. And okay. Now we have color everywhere. Yay, okay. Next up is simple shading and then that'll be that'll be a wrap. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have <laughs> added some extra things just because I got carried away and I was like, oh, I'm not recording, I don't uh. Okay, so now it is time to shade. Now what I usually do for shading is I'll go to the what is this called? Color picker tool, also called eyedropper and all of other 
programs and things. And then I will let's work on the skin. So get the skin color, go to edit colors, and then we'll darken it a bit. And also I like moving mine a little towards the pinker side. Add to custom colors. Okay. And now let's see, is this it's a bit dark, so let's lighten that up a bit again. Say okay. And okay. That looks good. Now the type of shading that we'll be doing is cell shading, so it's a bit uh, monotonous. <laughs> it's not uh not the most intuitive, but essentially you just find where you think the shadows will go, and then make little curves where you'll end up putting them. So again, this isn't really a tutorial on how to how to draw really it's more just how to apply existing drawing knowledge and skills to paint Microsoft paint yeah <laughs> all right so it's pretty much just find all the parts that'll be shaded so I totally didn't want to do that one let's go there and uh, you can even use the pencil if you feel so inclined if something doesn't need to be a perfect curve or if it's a short thing like that one and actually let's, let's make this dip oh no yeah. dip in a little bit okay and uh, it's pretty much just smooth sailing from here you're going to do uh, shading and then also highlights so in that case we can go to our eyedropper tool pick the skin edit color just lighten it up I like to just do a straight lightening don't need to do any fancy hue or saturation kind of things and then put in your highlight and fill in the highlight and that should be about it so I think I will let the rest of this go in time lapse and then I'll show you an easy way of getting a basic background into your picture Doki, I will see you soon. Okie dokie, it looks like we are just about ready to finish this up and put in a small background. So, I do believe that our background is just going to be a gray backdrop with a little bit of a shadow. Now, let's see if I can make this shadow work. <laughs> First, go to Control A, or just press Control and A to select all. Um. <laughs> Copy it, don't cut it. So that's Control C. And now we do Control E. Go to black and white. OK. Say OK, even though this is a really scary error. Or not error, but you know, warning. <gasps> and then it's super scary. Now we go over here. Actually, no. We put it back to color. And then. And then. This is where I hope good things will happen. So we'll do that. We'll make this, which is hopefully going to be the uh, 
Um, the shadow. Fill in those things, and hopefully that'll be good. Control V, and oh, yay. It's here. Hello. We just have to put in the... whites of the eye again. The, the shiny parts. Let's see. Is that good? Maybe a bit more? Yeah, okay. Then escape to solidify that change. And then, bam! Oops, that's not it. Right click. Yeah! And uh, that only works because of the transparent selection and also having color 2 as white, which was our original background. And I do believe that is the entire picture right there. Okay. Um, thank you very much for watching my video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the section below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. But Honestly, I'm kind of lazy sometimes, so... Wait, should I have said that? I don't know. No, everyone's lazy a little bit at least, right? <laughs> okay, but I will... I actually, I will try to get to them as fast as I can. Thank you very much again for watching. Um, yeah, this is Budgetary Cool. Take care.